Hello, my name is David Von Dolan, and I'm here today to talk about layer-wise learning for quantum neural networks. I'm an area lead and technical manager for Volkswagen Group of America, working on a, a variety of uh, topics, including quantum computing and machine learning out of our advanced technologies group based here in San Francisco. So to start, I'd like to give you a little bit of in intuition about quantum neural networks. Uh, a quantum neural network is a type of circuit where we have a register of qubits with which we load some data, whether it's classical or quantum. For our project, we looked at classical data, specifically the MNIST data set. And then you apply a series of unitary gates. Now, these can be random rotation gates, namely ro rotation Y, X, or Z and a series of control Z gates. Finally, we apply a readout uh, on one qubit, and with this, we calculate a gradient for our parameters for our unitaries. Now, a known problem uh, for quantum neural networks is what's called the Baron plateau problem. And essentially, what it, it identifies is that as uh, the depth of a quantum neural network grows, uh, the variance of the gradients in randomly initialized quantum neural networks decay exponentially as a function of the number of qubits. And so, uh, given this problem, we developed this technique, layer-wise learning. And uh, so, when we look at um, our technique, uh, we, we addressed the vanishing gradient problem, but we also looked at using this new library, TensorFlow Quantum, to train and experimentally verify our algorithm. The great thing about TensorFlow Quantum is that it handles all of our training overhead, and we can focus on research rather than uh, coding and uh, getting deep into the internals. So looking at this vanishing gradient problem, uh, we may utilize larger gradients uh, in shallow, shallow quant quantum neural networks. We can avoid configurations and random initializations, uh, which may lead to a barren plateau problem when we apply layer-wise learning. And we can successively grow our quantum neural network layer by layer by training, freezing, applying another layer, freezing, and then also training and freezing batches of layers. So when we look at this layer-wise learning, we can think about this phase of sweeping over the network, where we look at the first layer, we train parameters, we freeze, we train our second parameter, we freeze, and so on and so on. In our second phase, we sweep through and we freeze batches of layers. And when we do this, we find uh, a speed up in regards to uh, training times, and we also see a performance gain in our test error. So when we looked at doing binary classification uh, for the digits six and nine from M MNIST, uh, we noticed a, an advantage when using 10 epochs per layer in, in doing layer-wise learning over what we call complete depth learning, uh, where we train all, the, all of the layers uh, at once. So to talk a little bit about TensorFlow Quantum, we can generate our quantum neural network layers really easily uh, by using SymPy and CERC to construct our circuit. Uh, and then we can inject that using a TFQ uh, parameterized uh, quantum circuit layer into TensorFlow Keras. And we can use the TensorFlow Keras loss functions and optimizers to train uh, the gradients for our um, parameters for our quantum neural network. And if you're interested in more detail, we have an upcoming white paper. This is, uh, has been a really great collaboration between Volkswagen and Google. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you very much.